Good afternoon from Kuala Lumpur here in Malaysia, everybody. For once, the weather is on my side. The past week that we've been here in KL filming videos, it hasn't been raining too much, but the day that I decide to leave Kuala Lumpur to catch the train to Penang is bucketing down. So we're off to a new city and we're catching the train to Penang. We're then gonna make our way over to Georgetown and explore the food capital of Malaysia. So. We're catching the train. I decided to do it in a little bit of luxury, you know? You got the standard seats for around $20, but got all these bags. I need a little bit of luxury, so I decided to buy a business class seat for this four hour train ride that we have over to Penang. So we're at KL Central at the moment, and this is like a big hub of where all the trains leave. You got, the, you have like multiple routes. You can catch the like trains that just go into the city and also the ones that go into city. But we're gonna make our way over and uh, try and check in. Last time I was here, it was so confusing trying to figure out how to get just to the Metro to get to KLCC. So I don't know how we're gonna figure out how to actually get to the right place for the intercity railway. But we'll bring you along for the journey and we'll figure it out. Let's go. This video is sponsored by me, everybody. <laughs> you guys know I don't do paid sponsorships because I want to keep this channel honest and authentic. But I am here to mention my new private community for travel creators, Sid School, is finally here. For the past six months, my team and I have been working on Sid School to change the travel creator space forever. I wanted to build something that I would genuinely recommend to the younger Luke when he first started traveling the world and creating content. If you want to travel the world, create content, and get paid for it, Sid School is my new private community to make it happen. Feel free to check out the full video breakdown of Sid School with the link in the description below. Chasey Dreams. So the last time I was in this mall, I couldn't figure out how to get to the Metro Rail over on the other side, but since then I figured it out and all you have to do is just catch the escalator up to the second floor and then there's like a, a bridge that walks you straight into the train terminal, which is a pretty cool place. I was there a couple of days ago when I was catching the train to KLCC, but we should just be able to head up this elevator and we'll make it to the train terminal. Here we go, so this is the entrance to the train area. So we've got the LRT, the ERL, and the KTM. They're all different lines, all different trains. Some of them go into city, some of them go to the next town over. But it's just like an airport. Massive, like, area. Plenty of food, plenty of drink spots, and God, it's damn warm once you're in this area. But we now have to figure out, I think we've got to catch the KTM. So should be straight ahead down here there we go intercity the antara banda nice so the good thing with the business class seats and tickets is that you actually get access to the business lounge so i think it opens up around one hour before the, uh, the scheduled departure now. It's around just before 3 p.m. now, and the train leaves at 3.55, so we've got about an hour to kill. But I'm pretty sure it's over here from what I saw online. Is it, this is uh, how you can get there. So a lot of people waiting, but I'm pretty sure the Ruby Lounge, which is the one that we have access to, is actually up here. So we get a little bit of luxury while we wait and at least we'll be able to get some more information because it seems like all those people waiting there are trying to get on the same train but they must have the standard tickets. So this one cost me around 151 ringgit which is around like 40 US dollars and I think the uh, standard seats were like 80 ringgit, like 20 bucks. So we should be able to get access to the Ruby Lounge which I believe is Ah, here we go. Not open? Yeah. Yes, three. Ah, 3 p.m. Okay. Yeah, only valid business class ticket holders are allowed, so we're catching 9178. 
So it opens at 3, closes at 3.40, and then I guess you have 15 minutes to uh, get into the train and all sorted out. So, Futterworth, that's the one that we need to get to, to get to Penang. So I guess we'll wait for a bit. It's honestly a little bit confusing because all that I have on this ticket that I bought online is the number, like 9178, and then my ticket, no like gate number or departure number. So here you can see like there's platform one and two. There's also platform one and two over there. So I don't know, we'll have to ask once we're actually inside. Oh, there's, you can see the Ruby Lounge up above. So maybe we're able just to go down from the business class place. But I don't know why all those, all those people are just like waiting there. Maybe it's a different, different line, but they'll be waiting for over an hour while we get to sit in a little bit of luxury. Alright. Here we go, the doors have opened everybody. I just want to see what platform it is. It doesn't say what platform. And anyways, ooh, business class. This is nice. Only valid business class ticket holders are allowed to enter. Hello, Hi. how are you going? I'm fine, so can I just get a yeah, of course. So what? Uh, where do we go after this? It is downstairs or what yes, platform? Uh, after the train is ready, we will go to trees, uh, to this lead, right to the platform. Oh, okay. So you make sure I don't miss it. Yes. All right. Quite Great. Thank That's you very it. much. Nice. This is like a chill little area. And I guess over time, as it gets closer to departure area, it'll be a lot busier. But let's secure ourselves a nice little seat on the corner here. Now you can watch <laughs> the rest of the people as they enjoy their McDonald's, enjoy their KFC, while we get to enjoy the buffet food that is available. Ah, uh, there we go, platform two. Nice. So, obviously you get bathrooms and everything, and then I think just over here we got some coffee. I'm in charge of how I feel today, I'm choosing happiness. It wasn't a waste of time if you learn something. So we got Milo, Tetarik, and white coffee. Oh, we just got water. I've seen a lot of Milo things around here in Malaysia, so. How do you select it? There we go. Let's see. Milo is like massive in Australia as well. Let's see how it compares to the ones here in Malaysia. A little bit of water in there as well. Is it hot or cold? Oh, it's warm. Like a nice hot chocolate. Mmm. Perfect. So we've got a train coming over that way. I think that's just the metro one. Like the normal one that goes between the little towns and cities, between like KLCC and Bukit Bintang and all those ones but I think our train should be a lot bigger. And now when I was booking this, I think the very front carriage is all the business ones. So it has like a two one configuration. So I obviously chose like the single seat, so we should have the window side. Um, but if you are like traveling, there's a couple, have two people as a partner. Um, you can book like the double side, which I'll show you once we actually get inside the train. It'll make more sense. But uh, like Saturday and Sunday, I was gonna book, today's a Monday, right? I was gonna book yesterday but because obviously like Saturday and Sunday, a lot of people are traveling interstate and intercity here. Um, it was pretty like hard to get a, a seat. So I think there were only like double ones available. So I decided just to choose the Monday and then we'll be able to get the um, single side seat. So yeah, three, three A is what we're at. Just that one. And uh, got about 40 minutes till we're on. Alright guys, we've been up here for about 30 minutes and everyone's making their way down to the elevator. So... I should just be over there.
This one? This one E, just follow there. Thank you very much. Alright guys, so here we are down in the subway area. So you can see here this one is going to Buttersworth, which is the Penang bus stop, train stop, sorry. And this one has like the 2-2 two -two seating arrangement. So that's kind of just a standard seating. But as I mentioned, I think we're at the very, the very front. Coach A. So this is Coach B. This is a similar seating arrangement. You got tables in there between the four, four seats. And then we get into Coach A. And we're 3A, so we should be up kind of at the very front. We'll go up uh, this way. There we are, Coach A, 9178. You know, at least trains here have everything that you need, you know? I've caught trains in India and it's so difficult to actually get an idea of where it's all going. Well, that should be our seat just there. Okay. Is that okay there? Should be fine. 3A. Alright everybody, so we're sorted out here. And uh, it is nice having all this extra leg room here. As someone who's actually pretty tall, this is a lot more uh, space than you get on aeroplanes and stuff like that. And we got the window, so when we're going up the coast of Malaysia, we can see everything out the window. Hopefully, we see a little bit of greenery through the mountains, maybe by the beach. But uh, yeah, this is the cabin area. So as I was saying, it's like a two-one arrangement. So if you're traveling with two people, those ones are the best ones to book. And when you're actually booking it, you get to decide like where, the, what seat you actually want to. Uh, select so uh yeah, this is going to be a comfy ride over the next couple hours i think oh, look how far that reclines back i'm happy with the purchase definitely needed and then in terms of other things we also got kind of usb ports for laptop and all that kind of stuff and then over here we have an actual like tray table so this should come out and i believe and I believe that we actually get a meal on this included, so I'm not sure what it will be, but I think maybe like halfway during the ride, we'll be able to get uh, a meal. So they have that one that we'll put away just like that, but even better, over on this side, they have a little monitor. So I think when the train actually starts moving, we'll be able to connect to Wi-Fi, maybe watch YouTube. Well, here we go. No internet. I think it does come with complimentary uh, internet on board, so it should be all sweet. Look, someone's even tried to uh, watch some Netflix, but check out the YouTube, see what's going on. But yeah, this is a cool little uh, addition. Nice. So I'm not sure if you can see in the distance there, but you can see the time. So we've got about seven minutes until we head off. Now, when I told my friend Ken Abroad that I was actually catching a train, the one thing he mentioned was make sure you uh, you pack a jumper or a jacket because apparently these Malaysian uh, trains, they get a little bit cold, you know? Obviously, if you're outside of the station, you're preparing for the hot and humid temperature. But being in an AC cabin like we are now, I think I just saw a, a sign basically saying 22 degrees in here and it also shows the destination and the speed. Uh, maybe just like cycles through, but I believe I saw 20, 20, uh, 22 
a degree Celsius. So uh, that's how I transformed into this one when we were up in the, the business lounge. Oh, that 22 degrees Celsius. So uh, I'm glad I packed it because it could get a little bit chilly in here, but shortly we should be heading off into the distance. Destination Penang. Doors are closing. Please stand clear. station there is that no one came and checked tickets so there's a seat behind me that's free there's one ahead of me that's free as well and that kind of just clicked that maybe these people are actually hopping on uh, at other stops you know the, it starts off at, at KL Central but it does stop at uh, multiple stations the main station so there is like another Kuala Lumpur station and I think it goes into the next big major cities now there was an option most of these trains here at Platinum. I think there's like six trains to go to Butters, Buttersworth, uh, Penang uh, each day. Five of them are Platinum and one of them is Gold and the Gold one has more stops in between and it, like you know obviously that takes longer. I think it's like an extra 20 minutes whereas this one only stops at like the major uh, cities around but yeah this is like super nice. Got the second tallest tower in the world right there. Well you can't see it anymore but the lightning rod is literally up in the clouds. You can't even see it. Half of it's gone. And we're already at our first station. <laughs> So we're about an hour or so in and it seems like it's snack time. So I think they're handing out tea and coffee, so we'll grab a coffee and it also seems like we're getting uh, a little box of goodies. I think cake maybe. So we'll see what it is in a second. Hello. You want coffee or tea? Uh, coffee please. heavy all right everybody so this is what we got got some kind of cake in there I think there might be I'm not sure what's in the middle but it just looks like a plain vanilla cake we got some coffee in there and we'll add sugar and crema later on but I'm not entirely sure what this is as I said when I got this it is just like so heavy so we'll try and open it up see uh, see what's inside and it is oh little berry mix juice and salted peanuts <laughs> business class airpods or headphones so we can plug that into the, uh, the DVD player or the iPad thing that we got so let's uh, get into this and uh, we'll enjoy the rest of the journey
they really skimped out on the actual coffee contents. It's only half full, which I guess is good because we are on a moving train, but you want it at least like three quarters full as a minimum. Let's try out the coffee. Get a little bit of an afternoon buzz.
Bihun Goreng Singapore. So you can like purchase small goods if you want. We also got internet usage and then food record order. I don't know how I got to the internet last time. How did I do it? Alright, you just accept that. Alright, nice. Now what? New tub? Ah, oh, here we go. Alright. Is the internet gonna work? That's the real question. I think it's a little bit slow. We're kind of in the middle of nowhere at the moment. What about Netflix? Or... Or do we play some games? Play this one. Let's go. High score one two seven. Oh what? Alright. Let's go. Used to play this all the time when I was in primary school and the internet would go down. Look, we even beat the high score everybody. Alright, let's keep going. away. Oh, oh, that was so close. I went too early, but we're still going. Look at us go. 300. <coughs> Up to 350. Oh, 349. <laughs> All right. Game over. Oh, here we go. 
nasi putih ayam masak kebab sayoko. I have no idea what it all is, but it seems like rice. We got some meat in there, and then some vegetables as well. Let's just try it out. It came at a perfect time because I'm getting a little bit uh, a little bit hungry. So we can try some of this out. It looks like it's beef. Welcome to Buttersworth, everybody, here in Penang. Or is it Buttersworth? Jeez, I don't know if it's an S, if there's an S. Uh, but all I know is that I need to get over this way and I'll uh, somehow get over to Georgetown. So we can either catch the ferry or get a grab. I think the grab is gonna be quicker. The ferry at this time of night, it's around like 8, 15. It doesn't leave too frequently. So we'll head out. No doubt there'll be taxis uh, that charge three times the price, but of course, you wanna be getting some grabs, especially here. In, uh, oh, we're not in Kuala Lumpur anymore, we're in Penang. So here in Penang, let's uh, see what we come across. Oh boy, I definitely should have gone the lift with this heavy suitcase. That's all right, got strong arms, got strong legs. You can get up the, uh, the stairs quickly. But boy, is this the only way in? Well, the only way across it seems to be. So here is actually where they catch you if you went past your stop. So when we were going in to the business class lounge, he scanned my ticket. So obviously if you don't have a ticket all the way to uh, Penang, then you probably have to pay a fine or a fee. So we got ours here. 
it should be all sweet, I hope. But uh, yeah, just stops people from uh, getting on and then going past their destination or buying maybe a ticket only halfway to like Ipo or somewhere like that. But making it all the way to Penang. Not a very efficient system. Thank you very much. All right guys, well that could have been a little bit more efficient if you ask me. The train was awesome, everything else was awesome, but the QR code doesn't seem to work all the time. So we're gonna head over this way. This just gets us down to the road. I just need to get onto the street so I can get a grab or decide what I'm doing next. So how far are down is it? Oh my goodness, all right. Definitely we'll get the lift down this one. Huge staircase. So, my overall thoughts of the train everybody. 100% worth the money. Definitely whether you're in business class or the like silver seating that's for like $25. 100% a good experience, especially if you can get by the window. Being able to look out at all the greenery, seeing all the rocks, seeing all the, the water that you go past, just seeing the nature here through the mountains of uh, Malaysia, definitely worth it. And the leg space that you have and also getting the meals that you do in business class, getting to uh, be at the back and see everybody and what they're all doing, having the uh, iPad that didn't connect to the internet, as well as like charges and all that kind of stuff. 100% that is the way to get to Penang if you're doing it because it's around like a four hour train journey, right? Now, there's definitely domestic flights for like $50 with Air Asia, but the airport from like KL city center is gotta be like an hour away. So you basically kind of use the exact same amount of time to kind of fly in here and it's a hell of a lot cheaper and you get a good experience on the train so god am i ever gonna get to the street how do i get to the street i swear i'm just walking over all these roads i just want to get down to the taxi people like a grab there How do, where's Grab? That's the terminal ferry. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there we go. Alright, let's figure this out. Alright, we finally found the exit area. This is a taxi. So usually if there's taxis around, you can definitely get grabbed somewhere. So we'll probably uh, get on grab in a second and see what we can get. Those ones are always like so expensive. Oh, is this even an exit area? Oh, you still can't get out this way. All these transport hubs are just so confusing here in KL or in Malaysia. Here's the bus terminal. I guess we're one step closer. Yeah, maybe we'll ask this guy because he works here. He'll probably know. Hi there, brother. Where is the best place to get grab? Level eight. Level eight. Eight. Level eight. Eight. Yeah. Like uh, eight. Okay. Thank you, boss. Thank you. Level eight. Ah, oh, the parking. Okay. 
eight. Hey, at least we asked him. Got the right answer. Woo. I swear every time I'm in like a train station or in anything to do with transport here in Malaysia, I just get lost. I don't know. I was trying to get my jumper in. And then we, uh, the door rudely opened. All right, level eight, here we come. Ooh. How are we looking after that journey? Third floor, come on. I see a grab sign there. I don't know what that meant. But usually when you see the sticker, or the photo, or the grab, the logo, it means you're on, on track. Let's see. Does that mean if we're at level eight to get a grab, that he has to go into the car park and then go down eight levels? Oh, no, it means we are perfectly where we're meant to be. Nice AC. Is anybody up here? No. Oh, nice AC. Have we got the pickup point right there? This is exactly what I wanted, everybody. Perfect. All right, let's book ourselves a grab. Very nice. All right, so we need a car, and we're, what is our current location? What would this be called? Surely there's a better uh, choose from map. Yeah, we'll see. There we are, official pickup lounge, level eight. Confirm pickup. And then, where do we want to go? All right, that's where we need to go. Over to Georgetown. So there's a big bridge that connects the kind of two islands. So 23 Ringa, I think it's around like 30 minute drive. But I don't know if anyone will pick me up. I wonder if the taxis have like a monopoly here where we actually have to go with the taxi. We'll see in a minute. Oh no, we got one, it buzzed. How far away? Five minutes. We got Hassan bin Abdjalil. Very nice. All right. Oh, he canceled on me. Come on, my, my, my man. And this guy, six minutes away. Nice. He hasn't cancelled yet, so it's good. Sweet, we'll wait until the grab's here. All right, this guy has just not moved from his spot. I messaged him and it's been like a while. What was it when I ordered it? Probably like 8.30. So I don't know. Maybe we will just have to go for a taxi. It makes sense why nobody's up here. Probably because the grabs don't work. Let's, uh, let's cancel <laughs> and just get a taxi. My luck with these big transportation hubs is not good here in Malaysia. <laughs> I always get lost or uh, don't know where to go. <laughs> we'll see what happens. this place, Georgetown, near, uh, so there is Georgetown, Maritime Suites. Whoa, 60, 
64. Yeah, 64. Oh, it's expensive. Yeah. Uh, 42. Do I pay here or I pay? Me for the poor, you sixty four. Me and it, I'm about to do one. Put it to you, 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 put it to you, 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 Sorry? Yeah, 42? So I pay here or I pay taxi? Okay. Okay, so 42, right? Yeah. Not 42, 64. Oh, not 64. No, no, no. 64, the price. No, it's okay. 42, yeah. Not same the place. Come on, Oh, so 42 share. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Uh, so, so how much is it? Ah, uh, 64. Okay. Okay, let's go. 64. We'll just do it. I guess we don't really have much of a choice, guys. Sorry. Uh, maritime sweets. So what is the price? Sixty-four. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, it's heavy. I can help you. Thank you, boss. There we go. I don't know. That was... Like, I don't really know if I have any other choice than to pay this. Like, I couldn't even figure out a way to get onto the street. The grab was like 25 ringgit. But somehow we've been swindled up to 64. That's just, that just goes to show like the, the taxis in all of these places. They just have like a monopoly. I think like in, in certain parts of the world, Grab is just like not, they're like kind of not accepted in some parts. So you know where we are going? Uh, yeah, Mar Maritime Suites. Uh, can you please open your... Near, near Georgetown, Georgetown. Georgetown? Or like... Uh, you open your wrist, can Huh? Open, open your wrist, wrist. Map, map. Ah, uh, map, map. Uh, put some, you will show you. Yeah. Open, open, can open up. Uh? Yeah, it is open. Fortune Park. You know Fortune Park? Fortune Park? It's alright, I'll show you. Should we go? 
got everything. Do a quick flash. All right, we're all good. Nice. Hey, yeah. <laughs> nice place, huh? Nice place. Chinese food here, lot. Yeah, Chinese food, good. Oh yeah, just one. Okay, boss, for you, 65. Okay, thank you, man. Great. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Have a great yeah, night. Bye-bye. Okay, okay. <laughs> <Bye -bye. laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, we finally made it. Look, sometimes you just have to pay the price for a, a, a rip-off taxi, and I guess supply and demand. They were convenient, the grabs weren't coming, and uh, it got the job done. So 65 ringgits, around like $20. It was, actually, no, it's like 15 US or so. But it was three times the price of. Really, you're really like aiming for me, mate. It was like three times the price of uh, the the grab. So now I got to figure out how to get into my Airbnb. But we're gonna do that off camera, everybody. We'll pick up the adventures uh, tomorrow when we explore Georgetown. But we finally made it to Penang. Caught the uh, the train up. Definitely well worth the experience, and I'm glad we got to do it. Seems like there's some cool night bars here. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, chase your dreams. See you all in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>